Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, almost. It's a horrible afternoon out there. It's snowing like a bitch, so... What better thing to do than continue with a game I thoroughly enjoy? Let's continue. That's not very nice. Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How is that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bit you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. I've been in this job 20 years. I never fired my gun. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Look at you bantering with the boys. There's a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow wings. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in at Central. Eleven K responding. Go ahead. Kid, drop that money one more time, and you're a goner. Sorry, Mister. It's just my hands are shaking. Shut up. Get the money in the bag. Yes. Yes, sir. Hurry the hell up, will you? Come on. It's goddamn cops. Careful. He's got a gun. That's no 
no way to drive. Stop here! They're making a break for it on foot. Throw out the guns! Crime never pays. Except when it does. But usually it doesn't. Car 11K to KGPL. Bristol Hotel 211 is code 4. Cleanness, be advised. Code 4 at the Bristol Hotel on 8th Street. Code 4. Not a care in the world. You've got to be kidding me! Case and got promoted. Grown men playing. It was just faster to go that way. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, Beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. 
Not too bad, considering. If she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, you can stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. What can I tell you, detective? Try the coroner. He's down the hill. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beast. I don't like. Keep out of this. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. But who did this to you? That rat slipped us on Mickey Finn. Oh, it's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. This is a big scene, Phelps. Didn't mean to do that bearings. just yet. Let's go see the coroner. Because I need to see the coroner and get the rest of the questions, but, you know. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. Okay, um... How bad is it? Just making sure. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. What do you think? This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. It looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage.
They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. She's a long way from home. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. Wow, that's pretty heartless. We're a real bitch, eh? We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news hounds. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. We're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid.
I think I hear a street crime coming in. Eleven K Roger, en route. There is one in progress. I forget how many there are per division or how it's allotted. But I know certain ones only show up at certain times. Mental case, so This boy. is car 11K. We'll handle the 415. 11K, your 415 is at the Alaco station at Wilshire and Flower. Possible mental case. Oh, it's this one. You're the Dude. one who's been sending cosmic rays into my room. I'll show you. Yes, sir. You're not going to control my thoughts anymore. Just calm down, sir. You like that, wouldn't you? Give it up, LAPD! Put that away! Put your hands in the air! Hurry, you can still- Don't make me chase you! You don't understand. Someone has to stop the Venusians. Really do need to go find some of those cars. But I can always do that on my own time.
I think you're doing this on purpose. Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton? Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. You can't hold me here. No! I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer! Hey! Where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Okay, I forgot about that. That was amusing. Feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels swimmy. Probably nothing. This doesn't pertain to the case. You're making me uncomfortable. Just... Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, 
yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Ballard is definitely up to something. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Get in there and see what she's up to. Him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm. Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark. Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Did you get the film? Sure, I got the film. What's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. 
Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he... He wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his broad the wrong way. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? On the route. Progress at apartment 803, Wilson's apartment hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park. 11K code 3, all other units go 2. KGPL clear. Gun it! Let's get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. I don't know what you're talking about. We weren't doing nothing. No, I'm seeing you little sons of bitches brawling around my store. I'll show you. I'll, I'll teach you not to. Sir, drop the weapon. You've been drinking, sir. You don't really want to. Three times I've been robbed. Ain't nothing gets done about it. Look out, more of them. Put them down. Take this guy out. Eleven King calling KGPL. I've been involved in a shooting. Suspects are down. Need an ambulance to 540 West 9th Street. It's a code 4. Notify a supervisor and a coroner. Roger, 11K. All units be advised. Suspects are down at 540 West 9th Street. Shooting at Uncle Sam's Army Surplus is code 4. Roger, KGPL. 11K en route. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Elevator does not sound healthy at all. LAPD, ma'am. 
Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. Junk. I doubt it. Not sure this means much. have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars doesn't look like anything presented to mark set downtown. Optimistic call. Doesn't tell me anything. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Not much help. Nothing significant. Like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business.
So you're gonna leave a poor, helpless woman here on her own and at the will of unscrupulous men? Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard Whoops. is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Either we find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. and Figueroa. Thanks. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and a movie producer's wife, they're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost-looking famous. 
And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. I'm sorry, sir. Police officer, I, I need your car. Goddamn ding! Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh, you think she'd have gotten the hit? Out of the car! Police! Wait, officer! My bag's in there! LAPD, police emergency. Be careful with it, copper. Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. That's a guy. I heard he's an honest guy. LAPD, I need your car, now. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple... Police emergency, out of the car. Hey, what are you doing? I'm on a roll. Did you read about Finally! We're starting to think nobody would show. Oh. What have we got? The Third Street Gang and the Diamond Street Gang. The Mexican kids with nothing better to do than howl at each other. But no bloodshed so far. Shit! Hope you brought plenty of ammunition, sir! LAPD, drop your weapons! Assist. Get in cover. God. 
Damn it, here come more of them. Car 11K calling KGPL. I need an ambulance at 1624 West 3rd Street. Code 4. Shots fired and suspects are down. Roger on the ambulance 11K. All units be advised. Code 4 on the major 415 on West 3rd Street. Suspects That's the guy. Are down. I heard he's an honest cop. I'm going to have to ask you to get out of the car, hey, now. Careful. Oh, sweet Jesus! That was a lead foot trophy. Top speed for over 10 seconds. Man, that took me a few tries on the other one. Or on my, uh... Original on the PlayStation 3. Oh man, these things are horrible breaks. Comes Bukowski. <laughs> ah, I love leaving him behind. Ooh. That's a nice one.
we're just gonna hit these three along the way. Hey, get back here, I need you. Just a scratch. Come on, I need the bread bus. Stop. Son of a bitch! Exactly, son of a bitch. Hey! Don't hit oh, my partner, you funny? douche. Driving off and leaving me behind? Out of the car, police. Okay, now you can have it back. Hey, isn't it? Ooh, what's that? I'm out of here. Can you drive to this one? Isn't that the cop that caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? You can drive. only a writer, he can't really help me.
Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. So, you coming? So, you coming? Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Incidental. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One-way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Jungle drums. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop.
this is where you sprang from. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. <laughs> Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have, yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. How can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Peace. <laughs> oh. So how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that you're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen, we want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey, hey, you don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around?
15 year old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. I'm warning you, Hopgood. If you give him up to McAfee and we find out about it... Wind it back a notch, tough guy. I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. What made Bishop change his mind about putting Ballard back into the picture? A bribe. What kind of bribe? Jessica Hamilton. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlin? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today, by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part, happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb. But polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Thank <laughs> you.
Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say work in traffic is... You know how to piss people off, Mikowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. 11K calling KGPL, requesting assistance at 8th and Francisco, the abandoned movie set. My partner is pursuing suspects on foot. Code 3, KGPL. We're trying to help you, Bishop! This is all a big mistake! It's us or McAfee's boys, your choice. I didn't do anything. That's enough! That girl made it all up! Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop! Bishop, move another inch and you're dead. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need, we need to get out of here. All right, you stay close. Any tricks and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me. Last chance to back the hell down. It's this way. McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? Kill them for God's sake. I don't want to die. the best mechanic
There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Come on, it's this way. Your weapons down and your hands in the air. I should have known that bitch was way! Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. One of you if I have to. Follow me. Come on. You're covered, fellas. Uh, uh, slug in this one over here. Shit. It really hurts. All right, let's go. Now. Ha <laughs> ha Crap. doesn't make the rule. You hear me? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Don't understand why he's not staying in cover. Get him over here, I'll oh, cover you! Ass. Come on! The cavalry's here!
Get him over here, I'll cover you! Come on, the cavalry's here! The cavalry doesn't make the rules, you hear me? Those barrels are the base of the element, cop. Stay down. LAPD, you're making a big mistake. Follow me. We need to get him to the car. Is this really the best the captain's got? Find some cover! Oh my god, they're everywhere! Get him to the car! I can cover you from here! You're almost there! I need someone to cover my six right now! Ah! Now this is what I call a result. Sheesh. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer and all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder, so he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. Developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Roy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. 
Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. <coughs> Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Those vice boys get any on the side? Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. Thank <laughs> you. 
What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time. I'll do it! So help me God, I'll jump! You need to get up there. Let me do the talking, detective. I know a ton of this psychology stuff. You take the back alley and find a way up there. Come on, Phelps, let's get moving. Are you jumping? Make sure you warn me before you do. I will! Wait, what? You think this thing can hold you, Rusty? I'll bring you down with me, Phelps. Come on, then, Lightfoot. No offense, but I don't want you splashed on my shoe. Are, are you crazy? What are you trying to do? I remember my first jumper. I could have soaked him up with a sponge. I still can't eat spaghetti sauce. I... This what you wanted? I can't do it. I just, I'll come quietly, just, I need some help, please, you gotta get me some help. You're a danger to yourself and to others.
Go to hell, Parker! No way I'm going down without a fight. Drop the weapon! Hands behind your head! Yeah? Fuck you too! God damn it, get out Put your hands in the air! He's hiding in the alley! Give it up! LAPD! Don't make me chase you! All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway, unit to handle code 3, identify. All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. Go to hell, Parker! No way I'm going down without a fight. Drop the weapon, hands behind your head. Yeah? Fuck you too. God damn it, get out. Put your hands in the air. He's hiding in the alley. Give it up, LAPD. You me up a Don't make me chase you. Keep this up. This is Kari Levin King. Advise all units that the 211 from Mallory's Cafe is code 4, KGPL. Roger, 11K. All units, 211 from Mallory's Cafe is code 4. Repeat, code 4.
Sentry unit, a possible 415 at Alvera Street Plaza, unit to handle code 3 identified. You're crazy. Well, I'm crazy. It's your fault. Running around behind my back. How am I supposed to trust you, goddammit? Whoa, sir. I think you ought to calm down. Mind your own goddamn business. Why is everybody always on my case? Watch it! Turkey! Give it up, old man! Get the bastard! Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Car 11K, code four at Alvera Street, but I'll need an ambulance. Shots fired, and suspect is down. Roger on the ambulance, 11 King. All units be advised, code four at the Alvera Street Plaza. Okay.
Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going. Get close. You're a different man in front of the captain, fellas. You come any closer, I'll pull the trigger. Put the weapon down now. Hold up here, Phelps. Car 11K calling KGPL. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We're code four, but I need an ambulance on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. 11K, Roger on your ambulance. All units, be advised the suspect is down on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. Repeat, the suspect is down. Code four. Now may I please proceed with the case? If we survive this, it's going to be a miracle. What the hell was that?
police in the vicinity in any century unit. A 211 is shots fired, 410 South Flower Street. You need to get handle code 3, identify. 56 in the vicinity in any century unit. A 211 is shots fired. Tables are turned now, haven't they, boys? Hey, look, old man, we're sorry. Just quit shooting. The hell I will. I'm getting pretty tired of losing my weekly take to you punks. You ain't gonna last long in a tin shack. Damn it, they went down there. This is car 11K. Shots fired at South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. It's code four here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance and coroner. 11K, Roger on the ambulance and coroner. All units, 11K reports code four on the shooting at 410 South Flower Street, Scott's Garage, code four.
Crime scene is just up the dirt road, detective. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. They're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Roman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. The victim's bag? Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Bomba Club? Why steal a table lighter? This isn't what we're looking for. I don't think this is any use to us.
What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Cause of death? It could be the head injury. Hmm. Interesting. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. What's the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. Oh, come on! The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The call of the decade. We've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nicks. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around the... Watch it, will ya? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoom. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the Examiner and the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. If there's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder, it was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found him. Whoa there!
You ought to meet Joe's buddy. He's nice. Really. Say, honey. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Inquire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? He thinks he's a bit of a gangster, but he treats me nice. My eggs were runny. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. You're going to pay for that. Do you know her? Celine? From the house, officer. Oh, Christ. That's the spirit. Pour me another. Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is. was a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes, at around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Was he ever violent with her? Celine came in here last night looking like she'd taken a slap. They don't live together anymore, so it might not have been him. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. I think he's a bit of a ganguero. What? Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. A waitress. 
Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks, ma'am. You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job if a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor, our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. It's worse than I could ever have imagined. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. You said I had to go back, doctor. 
The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Not everything here is going to be relevant. It doesn't appear to be connected. Size nines, above average for a lady. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm going to climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. Tiffany? The rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. A regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive. Seems irrelevant.
Selene and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan! I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. Looney pin. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Ah, uh, for my money, if the broad keeps the house looking like that, she probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in. And keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh for my RKO, God. pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. 
Jesus, I'm sorry. I, I, 